This quick video is about water glassing eggs. It's a, an old way to preserve eggs. Anybody who has their own chickens should do this. I did it last year and I didn't have to buy any eggs all winter long. Um, we only have six chickens and um, you know only four of them are really laying and because we only get like four eggs or two eggs but that's still um, way more eggs than we need in the springtime. So um, I just take clean unwashed eggs. So these eggs you know um, are a little dirty so these aren't the ones that um, I will water glass. I will eat these fresh but the clean unwashed eggs you can put into um, the lime solution and preserve them for up to a year. So let's get into the video. Here is where I've been storing the eggs. Um, last year I had them in this three gallon crock. Nowhere special, it's just in a closet in the middle of the house where the temperature is pretty even all year round. And they did perfectly fine. So here is the crock. It's actually like a fermenting crock and it has um, a lip here where you're supposed to keep water. I would say there was water there half the time. This is what it looks like inside. So it forms like this um, film on the top, which is probably um, just a line. And then you go in and this is what the eggs look like. The white stuff is the lime. And then I'll just rinse them off. So I just take them over to the sink. And rinse them off in cold water. And every single egg, I've always been like checking them. So you can see none of these are floating. I do see one is cracked. And that has probably been the biggest problem is that um, one's cracking. So I just don't use it. As you can see, the rest aren't floating. Um, oh, this one has a crack too. So once I have them rinsed and I've checked them, I still every single egg, and I even do this with my fresh eggs as I check them. Now, so that one, the yolk is broken, but if you smell it, it smells just fine. You can see that one's just fine. So I crack them all into a small bowl, um, check them. You know when an egg is bad, you can smell it. That one's just fine. And I really think the ones where the yolks are broken, it was air on the person. So they were shooken around or um, probably mainly just kind of shooken around. And you don't have to use it. If you're not sure, you're not comfortable with it, don't use it. Here's another one, just fine. But I've been using, um, you know, ones where the yolk was, you know, cracked and it was just fine. So this is what they look like. There's no smell. There's no, no anything. Um, the shells are still pretty, you know, firm. Some of them are a little softer. So what I decided to do this year is use this one gallon bucket. Right now this has two dozen 24 eggs. And I also feel like if you put them in a smaller container, um, 
it will prevent a lot of the cracking so there isn't the weight of a lot of eggs um, there isn't the accidentally of like dropping them in the water which I think was the big problem with the big crock is that um, you know we weren't getting our hands all the way in there and um, setting them down so I'm going to use this one gallon um, bucket and then, you know, you need the lime and this is what I have. So you want like the food grade um, calcium lime. Um, I just get it from Azure Market. This is what it looks like. This is one pound. And you use one ounce to um, a quart of water and it needs to be like spring water or distilled water or, or well filtered water and this stuff doesn't mix very well i'm actually going to mix it into the jars first and pour it over the eggs I actually think that it helps so I gently set those eggs into the bucket making sure they were all in there I don't think it matters if you try to get like the big end um, upright they definitely weren't like that last year for me so here is one quart I'm just going to pour it over the eggs, making sure I get it all in there. And I'll add more eggs to the bucket. It's just what I had. And those eggs are already, um, you know, a week old. If you have a lot of chickens and you end up with a couple of dozen or five dozen at a time, it's probably best if you take the eggs from that day and do it. You got to make sure the eggs are clean. So it's all dissolved. Pour it over. And you can see the eggs are not all the way covered. So I just made up some more to cover the eggs. And you can see they are fully covered. Nobody's floating. Okay, so I made up three quarts. I still have about an inch left. There's like an inch and a half um, left of um, space in the bucket. Now I would like to add some more if I could get another dozen. So there's already two dozen. If I could get three dozen, I would really like that. I've got a nice lid. So I'll, I will add some more to this. And then I will put the lid on right on here, the date, and set it aside for the winter. And, you know, the nice thing is we did not buy any eggs over the winter. Um, there was probably at least two, maybe even three months. The chickens didn't lay me any eggs. We just, you know, used the eggs from the crock and didn't have any problems. And, um... I will definitely be doing this um, probably for the rest of my life. Um, I I'm, I'm, will always have chickens and this is a great way to have eggs on hand um, if you just don't have enough. Well, this is called water glassing. Um, it's a really old um, technique of preserving eggs. I really enjoyed it last year and I hope you'll give it a try. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, you know, click that like button, share, 
and check out my other videos. I have a lot of other um, how-to videos. Thank you.